we made it to hockey. It was a nice drive in. The roads were all dry and it was sunny, crisp, lovely, lovely. Oh, all the Zamboni's going. Four minutes, Maze. One or three maze. Oh. All right, just got them on. Oh. oh, I don't think they're on the ice yet. They're having a talk. I'll go around this way. <sighs> oh, my back. I feel like a lame horse. I don't know if Misha's in here. She'll want to sit in the truck. That won't last too long, I'm sure. I have all these pads around. wonder why that is. That's new. Maybe they're teaching chucking or checking checking for the bigger kids maybe I don't know okay so now they're just doing loops to warm up I'm assuming with those blue things up it makes it more cozy it seems cozy in here all right Maze is leading the charge in this circle that's him up front then they do like a figure eight go over to that one go the other side and they practice I call them cross cuts, but I don't know what the hockey people call them. Okay, Maze is next. They're going around the circle with a puck this time. Right there. Ooh. I guess they go around and then they come over to this side. Are they only supposed to use one hand? I was going to say, it's hard to control a puck with just one hand. All right, Maze is next here. They're doing the same thing, only going backwards. Oh. All right, there he goes. When he first started hockey last year, he couldn't skate backwards. But he's got her now. Oh, he was supposed to go over to that circle. <laughs> Perfect. All right, here goes Maze. Right there. He comes around. He has to get by this guy. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Maze is coming up next. He's going to have to be the guy that tries to block the guy with the puck, I think. Or maybe they're doing something else now. He's up there. I think he has to kind of block this guy. Try to. Oh, he did it. He did it. All right, Maze is back at this on the offense, I guess. Yes, good job. Oh, Papa made it. Yay, Papa. Okay, Misha got her present. She won at the silent auction at the Jamboree. Got some sour worm gummies. And from Natasha Melanson's The Color Loft Salon. She got some fancy hair dye shampoo, like it's, if you had dyed hair, it'll maintain it, but I said you can use it anyways. It's not like it has dye in it. It's for color maintenance, but it's fancy stuff, I think. Huh, you want me to dye my hair? You don't need to dye your hair. You have beautiful hair. Hi, Dad. You made it. Guess what I brought for you? Your boxes. 
<laughs> oh, he's down there somewhere. Okay. All right, we're going to the Dollarama. Look at the moon. Misha has $10 to burn. Oh, good morning, friends. It's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living. Misha Mays just left. I just put garbage out. I can't remember if it's garbage day or not. I hear you, Randall. Just give me a minute. I can't remember. Nobody else seems to have garbage out. But I looked up on the schedule. And it looks like it's garbage day. But nobody else has it out. So I don't know. Which scares me because I brought it all out of the garbage bin. And I don't want to do all that work for nothing. And my fingers are freaking freezing. Oh, I uh, went to town last night and I got... Well, with hockey, I didn't do a haul when I got back, but I'm going to feed the birds and I have two new suet things for my cage out there. So I'm going to do that now. Oh, okay, guys. I just had a shower. It's just like five after eight. I see somebody. Well, I see two more. Two more stays. Randall was out there earlier, but somebody else has garbage out over there. Anne doesn't, though. So I don't know whether somebody put stuff out there because I put stuff out there. I don't know. We'll know soon enough, I guess, if a truck comes for the garbage. But anyways, oh, there's three more stays out there. Look at that. No girls, all boys. Oh, the three amigos, I guess. Yeah, I don't know where the girls are. But my girls are getting up now. I went and woke them up and jumped in the shower. I'm going to get... <clears throat> oh, and I just took out a package of chicken thighs out of the deep freezer from downstairs. They're in the de microwave to defrost. I'll make that. I'll make that. Yeah, they're over there. The fire's going. I need to bring the compost out when I go. And, yeah, I'll probably do up some spuds maybe. Let me see what I got. Alright, I do have potatoes. I'm going to peel them now. It's 8.07. Yeah, I'll peel them now. Might even cook them now and do TV dinners like I did before. I don't have any carrots to do, but I'm sure I have some sort of canned vegetable I can put along with this. We haven't had chicken in there for, for a little while. But this was down in the deep freezer downstairs. I see I got some cabbage rolls down there. Mosiah asked for cabbage rolls the other day. <laughs> I said, I'll make them sometimes, but I don't think she realizes that's not like making goulash or spaghetti. Cabbage rolls are a little more of a labor of love. They're delicious. I said, you sound just like Medea. Medea likes cabbage rolls a lot too. The other kids like it too, but Mosiah loves cabbage rolls. So, I might have to make some of that, and, or like defrost some down there. They're, they might be the keto ones though, I don't know. If not, I'll make some sometime. The cabbage is dang expensive. It was expensive beforehand. I can't imagine what it is now. Oh, but that fire feels good. Um, I had to fill out a form yesterday for Misha. She She's like in grade six, that's the highest grade of that school, so she'll be over to the high school next year. But for grade sixes, they do like a big field trip in the spring. And um, they're doing it in March, going to a ski place way up close, not quite to the city, it's Martok. Um, anyways, I had to fill out like four or five different forms. Um, so she's quite excited about that. We've got to pack a lunch. They do have a canteen there, but they suggested to bring a lunch because usually it takes a lot of time to order the food and wait for the food and then eat the food and they're only there for a certain amount of time. So I'll use one of my big coolers, those turquoise ones if you remember, and load it up for some treats for her and our friends. And, you know, I always, whenever kids go on a field trip, I like to overpack because it's always exciting to drive to the event that you're doing and they don't want you to bring electronic devices. I said, well, you can bring a book or something. 
um, just because things will be left unattended and like I, I get that. That's probably hard for kids these days. But I think it'll be all right. So she's looking forward to that. And for both Misha and Maze, they're doing some sort of a walk tomorrow, actually. I think they're doing it in honor of something. I forget what it is, but I had to fill out those forms. So they gave them to their teachers, which is good. When I go out, I can bring this out to the compost. But I don't know what else I'll do today. My husband's home today, I think. I mean, he'll be working, but yesterday he was up in the city. Oh, I have a couple of hauls to show you. Last night after hockey, I went to the dollar store. I didn't get very much. Um... But I did get those suet things, which I put two out in the cage now. I have two more, but I'll show you. I'll show you what I got. And my husband, on his way home, he stopped at Costco. Didn't get very much. He's like, anything we need? I said, no. Well, if you go, don't make a special trip. Get some pepperoni, like those big packs of pepperoni, because I like to snack on that. And um, you can only get the spicy pepperoni, not in Halifax, but in Dartmouth, I believe. And he must have went to that one. I don't know. So he came back with some spicy pepperoni. Got a pack of that, the four pack of Kirkland bacon. I think that was about it. Oh, and a box of cereal. Yeah, I put it up there. Like, it wasn't a big haul or anything, but I'll do that after. I was so tired when I got home last night. I just put the bags in the laundry room. And, yeah, my husband didn't get home till about 9 o'clock. I went to bed shortly after that. I wanted to have a shower last night, but I was so tired and just like, oh, I don't know. So, that's why I had one this morning. All grungy and gross. A couple more. I don't know if I'm going to do the chicken in the oven or in the air fryer. I don't know. I haven't quite decided yet. Maybe I'll do them in the oven. I'll just put them in. I won't cook those right away. I will just do it on a cookie sheet in the oven. I can turn it on 1 o'clock and let it go and then... Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. I don't want to do the chicken too early and then have to try to reheat it after, which it would still be okay, but I want the skin to be a bit crunchy. And reheated chicken doesn't really stay crunchy. just put that chicken in for 10 minutes to defrost. It's probably not defrosted yet, but I just wanted to give it a head start. I'll get a pan all laced with aluminum ready, so I can just do that after. That's probably enough. I'm gonna do great big bunch and then there's enough in there for another supper and then there's another bag over there so I could get that's good so I'm gonna rinse these put some cold water in them and uh, just set it on the stove I don't think I'm gonna cook them right now I don't think I'm gonna cook them right now I might not do TV dinners I'll just cook it after lunch so it'll be ready it'll be ready so, anyways, I'll be back. All right, I have a, I really didn't get very much. So I got two more suit things just as backup. 
so I won't be caught in a pinch in a week or two whenever that cage gets empty. I got some peanut shell and dish shell. They didn't have any bird food there. They had little bags of like budgie bird feed, like little bags. But I'm not going to do that. I don't do things in little. So. Oh, I thought I got two shelled ones too. Anyways, I ended up getting two of these biscuit kits like I made the other day for strawberry shortcake. It's just like half a cup of water or something and makes about six biscuits. I want to have like a little stock fire. Maybe I'll get two more another day just to have at the house if I need biscuits to go along with a meal or something. It's so super simple. I can just tell the kids to make it and it'd be so super simple. And I got some black hair elastics. And then I got just more canned dog food. I have, I think, three or four cans out there, but I did have a big bunch. Um, I'll probably get some more this weekend, but just to um, stock it up, they're $2 a can there. So, oh, my big highlight. Look at this bad boy. I don't know if you remember the other day, probably last week sometime, I said I seen these giant hampers at the Dollarama, and I want two of them. It's just before Valentine's. Anyways, I went there today, or last night, and there was only one left. And I'm like, I'm going to splurge and get it for myself. Like, this stuff, I suppose it's kind of for myself because it's for my furry and feathered friends. But I grabbed the last one. The only thing is, I noticed there's a little crack right there. I think what I'm going to do is go around all of this with um, duct tape. Just do a ring of duct tape. Um, when they had a big stockpile, there was white ones and those blue ones. I said, do you know if you're getting any more? He's like, no, we don't ever know what's coming. I said, okay. So, oh, I wish I would have been, I wish I had got them the day that I seen them. But I was on a mission to not buy stuff except for the strawberry social stuff. And that's, that's what I did. But I got one now and hopefully I can make it last a while if I put a ring of duct tape around the top of it. And uh, to hold that crack together. I mean, I know it's just a cheapy basket. I don't expect it to last forever. But I could put this one upstairs. Just in the landing for straggle clothes or something. I just thought it was really cool. But, and like I said, the Costco stuff, my husband, God, I'm not going to bother getting it out. But the bacon, the pepperoni, the cereal. I think that's everything he got. Yeah. All right. It is 826. Those girls got to hustle their booties downstairs. I'll be back. All right. It's 848. The big kids just left. We are out there. Um, Mally brought down her garbage bag and recycle bag. This is the chicken I took out to defrost. It's still partially frozen. I'm just going to leave it though. 644 for this pack. That's good. Um, it was 390 a kg at the time. So I'll do that up. There's the spice. Oh, my husband got some Parmesan cheese, too, from Costco. I'm going to put that away. That was just on the counter, just so we have more for the house. But there. Yeah, I should check the dishwasher. There's these straggle dishes. Is it clean or dirty? It's clean. Or is it? Yes, it's clean. I got to I gotta do the do. Look at those sexy beasts out there. Just five minutes after I came in. Hopefully they take it all. Please take it all. Please take it all. Violet and Morris are eating their breakfast right now. Or they'd be at the window. Nose pressed right to the glass, I'm sure. Well, there's two people out there. That wasn't all our garbage there. It was, I don't know which neighbor put it theirs with ours, but... And I put those pizza light boxes out there. I don't know whether they go in the recycle or not. So I just left them in between the recycle and the garbage. So they'll know whether to leave them or not. I don't know. I threw out that big um, frying pan that I was cooking with the other day. It's one of those deep ones. But it's just the bottoms all bowed in and things stick to it. So I threw it out. We'll just have to get another one next time there's a sale. 
All right, it looks like there's just blue bags out there. I'll take a look after. Now the recycle truck will come later on, but it's the garbage I worry about most. How's your breakfast? Music, I just emptied the dishwasher and I put a little laundry in. All right, I think what I'm gonna do now is fill up these buckets with that. Probably won't fit all of it. This is an old bucket I used to make beer in. I'd put a spigot in there, like to let the air bubbles come out, or not a spigot, you know, one of those air gas things to let the bubbles bubble out. Anyways, this one's completely empty. This one just has a little bit in there, and this big old bag is just sitting there, so. They always like when I do this, because they get their nose right in there and eat while I'm doing it, but that's okay. handful of that on top of their other food just because you know it's new I switch it up sometimes but they've had this kind before and it doesn't bother them or anything but yeah a few straggle pieces on the floor but they'll get them all right guys I haven't checked back in a while it's like 11 o'clock I've just been vegging uh, my legs bother me today but um, I just rotated the laundry I'm hanging up these towels I'll see if these ones are dry I don't know not sure. Yeah, I think they are. All right, guys, I'm gonna try, I found this. It's just from the dollar store, there's not much. It's not like a big roll of duct tape. This little bit was a dollar 25. I'm gonna try to do the thing. I'll show you the crack. Where is it? Right there. Like it's not up on the top, it's just there. So if I can put it, some duct tape. I was thinking about going around the whole thing, but maybe not, maybe half of it. And then doing it on the inside too, because I do see it up there. I'm kicking myself. I didn't notice this when I bought it. And there was, that's the reason why there was only one left. It was 450, is what this cost. So, let me get some scissors. Watch out, Violet. getting some if uh, they ever come back. I should just bite the bullet and buy some nice ones. Not that these aren't nice, but you know, good quality ones. Violet, you don't need to do the Humpty Dance right now. All right. stuff's in the dryer now. I just put some wood in the fire so it's nice and toasty here in the kitchen. It's not that cold out today but I still want to have a fire going. I don't know. Son of a. I want it to go up under the lip. inside it's not going to be sticky so I'll just do it right over top see on the inside there it's, I can touch it all right this might be a complete disaster I don't know but I do know I'm gonna try it Okay. 
Everybody behave yourself. Son of a... not talking, I just need to focus on what I'm doing. Dang it. I got a crinkle in it. That's all right. Just trying to make sure that there's no sticky bits exposed. These scissors are not really appropriate for this. I have other ones. These are hardly any better. here on the lips, so I'm going to put a nasty piece of tape there, too. perfect but it's duct tape I'm doing the old red green way if you know who red green is let me know <laughs> it's, it's not very good but that's all right so C and up there then on the inside I wanted to put tape there so it's not sticky and I won't grab it from this end. I'll grab it like that. It might just be a hamper, a laundry hamper, like for the kids to throw stuff in. I wouldn't like maybe haul it around the house or anything. But Mays carried it over the store with me yesterday and he put it on his head, but it went down his body because he's so little. He was walking up to the truck like that. Anyways, red green. Put that stuff on just about everything, just like Frank's. Oh, and I got out a can of beans to go with this. It's 11.56. This is probably defrosted enough. I have this all ready to go, the spuds still. I'll get these in the oven in about a half hour and just do them at like 3.50. And, I mean, it's still early, but it's not going to be... I just want to get it on the go, so... All right, it's 1.30. I'm about to go for a little walk with Violet and Boris. I'm going to put these in. I just used Montreal Chicken Spice. 350, it's preheating now. And I'll turn these potatoes on when I get home. All right, guys, I'm back. I just went in and turned the potatoes on. Check the chicken. We're just waiting for the bus. Timothy's out. He was just there at the tree chirping at me. But, uh, yeah, I got my big red... And there's a dog barking over there. My husband went to town, so 
I'll just wait for the kids and then I got that can of peas. I'll just open it and warm it up in the microwave when it comes time. But yeah, those potatoes will take a little while to cook and I'll check the chicken when I go back in. All right, they're a little bit late again today. I don't know. I mean, it's fine. It's just... I got my big old boots on. Way too big for me, but they keep my feet nice and warm. And Misha has her uh, pencil case, which is like a caboodle kind of thing. A Barbie one. Because it was in the height of the Barbie movie and stuff. Never seen it, but... How was school? That's good. What do you got your pencil case for? Oh. Maze, you're carrying all your stuff, not wearing it. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, you organized your nerds. Look it's at very that. perfect because it has the five colors there. Yes. I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> Why did you have it like that? All right. Oh, I just did up the potatoes. The kids are home. And there's the chicken. And I just warmed that up in the microwave. So I'll do up some plates and everybody will have their supper. friends may are just finishing up his chicken there um my husband got back from town he went to the grocery store and picked up prescriptions that's what he went in for but he stopped to the grocers too so i'll show you what he got he got two packages of lean ground hamburger 950 it's 990 a kg this one was 974 two things of chicken thighs they're 439 a kg three dollars and 36 cents Jeez, four dollars. Oh, there it is. And two packages of drumsticks, four twenty-eight, and that's four thirty-nine a kg. And four twelve. That's amazing. There was probably a limit on it, that's why he only got four. But if he goes to town tomorrow or if it's still on sale, you know, that would be something I would want to stock up on in my freezer because chicken's expensive a lot of the time. Anyways, a thing of hot Italian sausage and some cabbage. I'm assuming he's going to make sausage and cabbage. A thing of onion soup mix. Two things of diced tomatoes. Two things of beef broth. He might be making a hamburger soup again, maybe. And two bags of chips. One sour cream and onion. And one sea salt and malt vinegar. And... Yeah. Oh, the oven's still on. i got to shut that off. This was out in his trunk. He got this from... Co Costco too. It was just left out there. So that too. Well, hey friends, it's Tracy from another day. I'm putting an ending on this video. It's 1047 in the morning. I just got done making TV dinners. So that'll be in a different video. But yeah, anyways, that supper went over well. I know the beginning, I think that hockey was supposed to go on the video before. I don't know. I don't know, but I just tagged it at the beginning of this. I don't know. But, um, Anyways, I just want to say peace, love, and happiness today and every single day. Please like, share, and subscribe if you so choose. But if not, that's okay too. I still love you. I still want all the happiness in the world for each and every one of you out there. I certainly do. I really, really honest and truly do. Yes, I do. So, okay, guys, with that, I'm going to say have a good night or have a good morning. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. Boink.